Now we are doing exercise 5.1, question number 2. Solve the following using quadratic equations. Railroad by the method of completing the perfect square. So we need to complete the perfect square. There is formula for that. x square plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. So formula for completing the perfect square is minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a x is equal to okay this is the formula so we are going to use this formula okay so let us say okay let us first find out b square minus 4ac this one okay so let us find out root over b square minus 4ac is equal to for easy you can directly calculate also is equal to so let me write down here root over okay no first let me write down abc so here a is equal to the term before x square so here it is 1 b is equal to this one before x that is 3 c is equal to this number that is minus 10 okay now root over b square minus 4 ac b square minus 4 ac which will be equal to root over what is b here 3 right so 3 square minus 4 into a it is 1 into c that is minus 10 okay now is equal to root over 3 3 ja 9 minus into minus plus 4 10 ja 40 so 40 plus 9 it is 49 and root which is 7 okay so now therefore let me name let alpha let alpha and beta be the root of the given equation okay then therefore alpha will be equal to take this formula that is minus b first you take plus okay plus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a which will be equal to minus b minus b it is b is 3 so write down minus 3 plus this one b square minus 4ac we got 7 right so plus 7 divided by 2 into a that is 1 2 under 2 so 7 minus 3 it is 4 divided by 2 which will be equal to 2 to the 4 okay now let us find out beta therefore beta will be equal to minus b plus here we have taken plus already so let us take minus now so minus b minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a now minus b what is b here 3 right so put minus 3 minus 3 minus so you got here b square minus 4ac is 7 so write down minus 7 divided by 2 into a is 1 so minus 3 minus 7 is minus 10 divided by 2 which will be equal to minus 5 so therefore therefore 2 we got 2 here and 2 and minus 5 right so therefore 2 and minus 5 are the roots of the given equation of the given equation that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video